You know, a lot of people like to put dimmers in their RVs to dim the overhead lights or even perhaps the awning lights. And these days they're all LED, so it's pretty easy to put a dimmer in. One of the favorite dimmers are this little rotary style that you can get on Amazon. However, if you have a panel like this that has these little switches in it, it's a little hard maybe to find a way to put the dimmer into the panel. Well, I'm going to show you a real easy way to do that. Now, if you have a 3D printer, you can go on Thingiverse, and there's a couple designs out there that you can print a little bezel for that. And as well, you can probably go on Etsy and purchase one that's already 3D printed by somebody. But I'll show you how you can make your own without having to have a 3D printer. The first thing you'll need is a switch blank. And these switch blanks are intended to cover up a hole. So let's say if I did not have a switch in there, this blank would fit in there like that. And you've seen those before. In fact, you probably have some on your panel. Well, this switch blank is made by CNK. Uh, that's a company that makes switches. And I bought mine on DigiKey, and the CNK number is 57190200, and the DigiKey number is CKN10595-ND, and they're around 95 cents a piece. And if you're within the U.S., you can do first-class shipping for $4.95, so for less than $10, you can buy five of these switch blanks. So it'll give you some spares if you mess one up. And there's two things you need to do. Number one is you need to drill a hole, 930 seconds, in the end. And then on the side, you need to cut out the side on both sides, here and here. Don't try to use a 930 second drill to drill into the thing because that's just going to be kind of hard to do and you could end up injuring yourself. So I have a Dremel tool. This is a relatively inexpensive one. And you can get a bunch of little drill bits. And you can start real slow to make a hole and then slowly make it larger and larger. And then this is what's called a reamer. Once you get the hole large enough to set the reamer in, you can put it in here and as you turn it, it'll enlarge the hole. And this works especially well on plastic. And to cut the sides, I like a little pair of nippers. And nip such as this. And then you can just clean out the rest of it. So you can do that, and then if you have a small X-Acto knife, clean out the rest of it, but again, be careful you don't cut yourself. This is the little dimmer, and on my website, I can show you how to wire it in either a high side or low side configuration. And there's two types. You want the long shaft. This should fit in there just like that. So once you've taken the on-off switch out for the light that you want to dim, then you take the blank that you modified, and just snaps in like that. And the switch goes in from the back side. The little screw nut goes into the front of it. Tighten that down and turn this counterclockwise until you hear the detent. And then put the knob on correspondingly. And there you go. And we'll show you the back side. So that's all there is to it. It's a real simple process. Anybody can do it. And again, on my website, I kind of show a graphic on the four steps that you'll encounter. And while the instructions that come with the dimmer show you how to use it for a low side application, my website also shows how it can be used for a high side application.